reviewer here, reviewer as in Mahad, and the reason why I started this channel was to make people read a lot, like me. And as a matter of fact, I made a whole video about five reasons why you should start reading, so links in the description for that. Okay, anyways, in today's video, I am going to be reviewing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, this story talks about my favorite candy. In a small town lives a poor family who can barely provide anything to eat except for cabbage soup. I mean, imagine that. But what they didn't know was that something was going to come and change their lives forever. <clears throat> I'm trying to sound like a narrator right now, but it failed. Okay, anyways. The world-renowned chocolate factory is finally opening and its owner, Willy Wonka, I shake you warmly by the hand, is allowing five kids to visit his chocolate factory. Look, this, the thing is that he hides five golden tickets under ordinary chocolate bars, under ordinary wrappers, and whoever finds those golden tickets will have a one-way ticket to the chocolate factory. The first winner of the golden ticket is a really fat boy called Augustus Gloop. He eats so many chocolate bars a day that it was almost impossible for him not to have one. The second winner of the golden ticket is a little spoiled brat named Vruka Salt. Daddy, I want another pony. See, Vruka's father owns a peanut shelling company and when Vruka asked her, her father to buy one of these golden tickets somehow, he told his workers to stop shelling peanuts and start shelling the wrappers over the chocolate bars. He eventually found a uh, golden ticket. And I don't think it's a really good idea to spoil your children because then they have no idea how to earn stuff by themselves. The winner of the third golden ticket is a selfish girl named Violet Bogorod and she eats gum all day long. I mean, she chews gums all day long. I'm a gum chewer, mostly. And the fourth winner of the uh, golden ticket is a kid addicted to TV called Mike TV. Die! 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 Get it? Like, Mike TV as in television? Yeah, okay, the best thing is, is that he doesn't even like chocolate. Now in the whole world, there is only one golden ticket to be found. One golden ticket to be won. And remember the poor family that I told you guys about in the start of the video? Well, the skinny little shrimp in that family found the last golden ticket. His name is Charlie Bucket. See, the story is, is that he found some money on the sidewalk of his house and he bought a chocolate bar. He got kind of greedy and bought another one and he got, the he got the golden ticket. I mean, what are the odds? And then finally, the big day comes. Everyone is getting ready for it. According to Grandpa Joe, who is Charlie's oldest grandfather, he says, Wash your face, comb your hair, scrub your hands, brush your teeth, blow your nose. Get that mud off your pants. Wash your face, comb your hair, scrub your hands, brush your teeth, blow your nose, cut your nails, polish your shoes, iron your shirt, and for heaven's sake, get all of that mud off your pants. And finally, they line up and enter the chocolate factory. During their visit, the children reveal their characteristics by how greedy they are, how spoiled they are, or how selfish they are. And at the end of the day, there is only going to be one winner, and that winner is going to get a lifetime supply of chocolate. It is up to you guys to go find out who is that winner. This book was written by Roald Dahl. I would rate it a 4 out of a 5. It is really recommended to earlier readers because it's about chocolate. Okay, don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and also drop a like on this video. Based on your messages and requests, in my next video, I'm going to be listing the top 5 books that 10 year olds should start reading with. See ya! I'm off to Willy Wonka's factory! <laughs> Now this top, see, Veruca's father owns a chocolate. Wait a minute. No, a peanut jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Relax, dude. For heaven's sake, get all of that mud off your pants. I forgot what to say in the next lines. Are you sure about that? Yes. <laughs>